uh, probably not sure about because I've got a lot of saw here already. Saw ekta du taro ekstra se. Abar ita ke saw banana to door karne. Mani ita saw chan hole hi patto. But the thing is, you know, in English a lot of words start with saw, and in Bangla as well, we made a lot of sounds with saw. Jamon kaisi, potsi, gesi. Jamon in English a lot of words like super, same, sort it out, sort out. Kono problem samosa samadhan kosho. I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out later. Kono samosa samadhan kora. Jamon dekhen for God's sake. Uh, leave me alone. Same. It looks like same. But the thing is, the problem of the sound is we are confused. Why? Hmm? I, I, I'm pretty much unsure about these things because it's happened in Bangla. We usually call this one Kaisi Portuguese, but we cannot write this one. Whenever you go for writing Kaisi Portuguese, you start saying this. Either you are using this or using this. I'm not pretty sure about port C. You're writing this? No. So you're writing this? Uh, so you are saying, you are writing this, but you're saying a different word. You're saying this anyway. But I'm, I'm, my question is about these things like, is it port C uh, or it's uh, port C? If it's for C, that means it's saw, right? Yeah. If it is saw, that means it's bosobas or singho. You understand what I mean. But we are using this one as a C, and here we are using bosobas or singho. So it's confusing. That's what I'm saying. But I'm not going for Bangla word because uh, my teaching is English. I'm teaching you English subject. So not subject language. I don't want to say subject this one. So that's why I'm saying that in English, you are having a classification between this word. Like whenever you can use saw, that means there is no H after S. But whenever you are using saw, that means there is a H after S. Like Shakib al Hassan, like Sakib al Hassan. You got my point. All right. So that is it for saw. Do you have any questions regarding this sound? Acha kono question?